I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwaterrecording.com. This is Mr. Saltwater Tank, RUF, raw, uncut, first impressions. The show where I call it as I see it, and this week we're having a look at the Reef Breeders Prism ATO. This says, installs in seconds, compact size, ideal for all-in-one tanks, in-tank, or in-sump use. That just about covers every application Compar compatible with surfaces up to 5 8 that's just over half for those of you that aren't good at fractions thick three infrared visual level sensors and a 12 month usa warranty okay let's have a look at this thing now remember in this show i don't read the instruction the manual i just want to see what it's like setting this thing up as you probably do it's nice that they have it there's no app to download i don't have to go online okay it's one one little page there you go so there's um warranty two pages of warranty disclaimers <laughs> one page of installation which is five steps um so that's pretty cool okay so there's that yay attorneys we have to keep them fed too so we've got some top off tube this is nice we have a tube actually this is the eye holder now that i look at it so this holds the eye it's got some grips there on the center. It'll be hard to see for you all, but it looks like it's, you know, it's got like some braised ridges. So it grips onto your tank a little bit. I'm betting that's for the eye. So I'm gonna set that aside for just a minute. We have a power supply, which, okay. I gotta give it to them on this one. <laughs> I know this isn't their power supply, but look, this is a brick power supply. It converts AC to DC, hence the brick. And you plug it in like this so that it doesn't then cover up the outlet underneath it. So if you have a two gang plug, that's the usual plug that has two holes. You plug it in up here, it doesn't cover the hole down here like it would if it was like this. So I know it's not their power supply, but still, I like that. That's helpful. Okay, we have a really small top off pump. I'm curious what the head pressure is on this. It's definitely not going to get from your basement up into your tank, but would it get from a bucket up onto the furniture where your all-in-one tank is? I will have to test that out. Looks like this is going to be a two-part show. Sometimes I do a show where I look at the product one week, and there's some tech or some insulation to it, then I'll do that on the second part. So I'll test that out next week. I'll set that aside. And then here's the actual optical eye. So this thing is about two inches, maybe three, across. I don't know how they got three eyes in there. I can only see one here, but they said that there's uh, three eyes. And then this just plugs in um, to the port, to the power, and to the pump. Okay, so my first thought looking at this is, it seems like a pretty small magnet to fit through 5 8 inch glass. Now, disclaimer there, just because it says it will couple through 5 8 I'm curious if I actually hold this thing still. That's a pretty strong magnet, but like judging with the Neptune ATO or the Neptune optical eyes that have a magnet, it looks pretty similar. Neptune magnet is actually bigger. So it says 5 8 We'll see if I actually hold with that. Um, it's actually compact. With this being two inches, let's put it on your little holder here. Uh, you can either use the magnets um, or you can use this. Actually, I bet you need to use both. So this holds it in place so it can't flop around, which is nice. That's pretty cool, looking at how they have that. So I'll dig into that next week as well. I like the holder. I'm curious if I have to use the magnet with the holder or if I can just go magnet or if I can just go holder without the magnet. So overall though, this is compact. It's got some neat, nice features that I like. One with the power brick being this way. Two with the clamp that holds it. It gives you a little more security. Um, and I like that it has three optical eyes, so that should give you some amount of fail-safe, some backup in case one fails, board gets dirty. It's not going to um, gonna sit there and run and top off your tank. I'll be looking for that as well. Maybe that's built into the brains of this thing somewhere that doesn't just run and run and run. So overall, the Reef Breeders Prism ATO, definitely something I see working for a nano tank. It's nice they say it works for a tank or a sumpless tank as well. I'm going to dig into this thing next week. Um, first impressions are that I like it. I'm curious to see if it works. Put this thing into place. I've got an idea where it may work. I don't know if it'll work, but I'll be back with you next week. See what I think about this thing, installing it, 
and seeing how this thing runs in a real life application. <laughs> Thank you.